Hey, there's an exciting new change for Drizzle ORM that I want to show you in this video. Drizzle is an ORM that lets you interact with your database just like Prisma in a type safe way. And Drizzle really shines when you get to scalability issues with Prisma. It tends to perform better, faster, and it also tends to be more cost efficient because less reads are done through optimized queries against your database. It's a great tool that really shines in some use cases. Let's talk about how the new update they just introduced is going to make using Drizzle in your projects way more intuitive. Intuitive. Now using your ORM also requires a connection to the underlying database and that's what we're doing right here through a database URL as the environment variable to avoid leaking it to any potential client side calls that might happen by accident. And then we define a schema. So now we connect to our database but what is in that database? That is what we define in this file right here. This is my actual database of the current side project I'm building. Let's take a look at the two tables I have that is the users and the excluded topics table just so you get an idea idea of what this could look like. These are a bit longer. Again, no need to really understand everything in here. Just get an idea. For example, we have an ID property that is a primary key. So it uniquely identifies or entries. Then we have something like a YouTube handle and so on and so on. And then we also have something called excluded topics, a way simpler MySQL table that we import from Drizzle from MySQL core and then define the table in this Drizzle specific syntax right here, which is nothing else than a regular TypeScript file. As you can see at the very top. And now we want to link this schema to our database because currently there is no link. We have the schema, we have the connection, but those are not linked together anywhere. And that happens in the drizzle config right here. And we link them as a default object export, just like this. And to get the studio to work, just like with Prisma, the way we do this is add one more property and that is the driver. Now for the driver, you can use a lot of different databases, SQLite, LibSQL, MySQL2, Postgres, or Torso. And in my case, that's going to be my SQL2 because I'm using planet scale under the hood. The only thing we now need to do is save that file. Make sure we have the latest versions of Drizzle. Now to get into the studio, we're going to run yarn drizzle dash kit. This is their development dependency for anything related to Drizzle, like pushing data into the database or also the studio. And then we can simply state studio hit enter, and that is gonna throw an error. And the error we're getting is transforming cons to the configured target environment is not supported yet. What does that mean? Well, it tells us where this happens and that is in our schema for every table that we have. However, the issue does not lie actually in the schema. The issue lies in our tsconfig.json because in Next.js, the default compiler target is gonna be ES5. As far as I know, that might be different for you, but I'm pretty sure it is ES5. And the only thing we need to do is change this to ES6 hit save and now that the compiled target changed we can actually successfully run the studio and it's going to be hosted on this link that drizzle kit gives us right here once we paste that string we just got from the cmd or cli um, into the browser we get to this which looks awfully like the prisma studio and just like in the prisma schema we can actually write anything into our database right here save those changes in a visual graphic user interface and that is going to be synchronized to our database automatically with pagination with beautiful animations and this was all built using the chat cnui which i also really like with light and dark mode apologies if you're watching this at night and i just flash banged you by the way and if we look at how this is built we can see this is built using svelte and Vite under the hood Hey, if you've gotten to this point of the video, I appreciate you. Your opinion matters. Would you like to see this as an actual stack? Like the T3 stack that Theo has? Could you imagine a stack like the Josh stack? Or I'm sure we could find a better name for it that has something like next auth and drizzle in it with an adapter for next auth. So turning this into an actual stack with a preset that you can just deploy to your own app and start building apps really fast and essentially for free. If that is something you'd enjoy, let me know in the comments below and we can actually turn this into a stack if enough people are interested. With that said, I really hope you enjoyed the video and the new studio Drizzle introduced and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.